uh, down here at the Gatling gun, you see the difference, uh, his Gatling gun versus my Gatling gun. Uh, his Gatling gun, uh, what I, I like the Gatling gun, and I didn't bring it out with me, but um, I have a Nerf, uh, a canister of Nerf rounds that will also be hanging from the side of this as well, so we'll have ammunition on it. Um, he does have the laser um, obviously mounted onto the top. Let's see if I can get in there and see this. Let's see, pop it on. Okay, there's the uh, the light, the red light up on top, so I like that as well. Um, I am missing one of these things, John. I don't know if he's laying around your place, but I can't find it. Uh, I'll just see if I can. Uh, I have some PVC laying around. I mean, hopefully, I have the same size as those, and I'll just cut it and put it on. Uh, I am popping off things like that that are hot glued, and then I'm using super glue instead. So I'm replacing a lot of hot glue, super glue because it's hot in Texas. And uh, yeah, super glue is the, uh, the way to go when it comes down to here. And this all get repainted to a duller black. Um, his is shoulder mounted. I'm going to get into the mounting system in a second. Uh, it was pretty pretty smart of him how he did it. My, this one here that I built, which is not finished as well, which I might actually sell. I don't know yet. But it's more of a center back mounted. If you look on the uh, War Machine you know, based on the movie, it's, it's center back mounted, which it slides back and forth from left to right, over the head from left shoulder to right shoulder. So that's what this one's based off of. I just never made the attachment for the actual backpack. So that's why that one's so much bigger versus that one. This is based off of the comic book version. Uh, here we go. I'm going to cover these up because I like how I painted these. I use it a bomb capsules on the, on, the, on the left shoulder. But I'm going to cover these up and repaint because a little bit of edging here. Looks like some cardboard is still showing through. Um, so repaint that and then I'll re, uh, re weather it, all that good stuff. And then that gets mounted back on. You see over here, I bought these, or I traded these a while back for some helmets and he had the video posted, his, his molds for the chest plate and the backpack, which I already had. Now, they're like his, um, his first time uh, molds to where, you know, you get your one or two out of it and then you destroy it and you build a new one based off your plastic one. Well, he's got a resin and fiberglass chest plate and backpack and I have a very, very hard time, and a matter of fact, I couldn't do it, uh, get my neck through this section up here or my head through that section up there. So I'm going to figure out a method. What I'm going to do now is I stripped it all down. This is, uh, he used uh, resin and fiberglass inside those molds, and latex molds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, slush cast, re um, fire, um, smooth cast 320 backpack and chest plate. So I can sand them, smooth them, re-detail them. Um, and then I have all the uh, particle or the, the boards that were already on. I just took them off and I will refasten them on to the new one once it's ready to go. This is a nice little uh, thing you have for the back of the neck so your neck wasn't rubbing against the back of the um, backpack. And I'm going to probably um, keep it split down the center here so it, just like the, the Mark VI uh, chest plate and backpack. Uh, um, so this is all getting swapped out. This whole thing's getting replaced. But um, I'll do like the Mark VI and then what I'm going to do is here's the attachments for it that actually go onto the shoulders. Uh, one goes here and it, he built these, scratch build, and, and they're immaculate. Uh, they're amazing, actually. So I'm not, I don't have them held on right here, of course, but I, they get mounted on with screws from underneath. Well, what I did is I went back through. I had to put a little bit of plastic up here, or Bondo, to smooth it out because it got dented in real bad, I guess, from the shipping. Uh, what else I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue the inside real good, and I am slush casting the inside of these because they are a foam board, which can easily get broken on you. So uh, I'm going to reinforce them with uh, Smoothcast 320. I'm going to pour it in, slush it around. Uh, that hole from here all the way down to here will be slush casted. And then I'll repaint everything the dull black, uh, military black if you want to call it that. And the same thing with this here. Uh, I reinforced more hot glue inside and I will slush cast the inside of that. Get everything repainted. Here's, here's where the shoulders get strapped to. I'm going to figure that out once I have everything mounted together. Um, and then of course that little mount there is where uh, this will sit, and once again, I will mount that with um, super glue rather than hot glue. But, so there you go, John. You see what I'm going to do? So, pretty much all I'm doing is I lower half's being replaced, um, helmet's being replaced, and I'm going to redo the chest plate backpack. Um, so, a lot of work's going to go into play. I'm hoping it's done in like two days. Yeah, I'm going to bust my butt on this. I have a lot of other products I'm doing for other people as well. But, I'm hoping like two days. And people, 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 listen to this. John is the man, okay, as far as these. He sent me a free uh, arc reactor kit. 
Plus, I don't have it out here. He sent me the original arc reactor he ever did. Um, so this is going to be an extra one I'll have floating around, which is freaking sweet. I'm going to put it together and put it for display. Or I might put that one together and use it for this suit. Because look at this one. It's got a case for it and everything. His arc reactors uh, have come a long way. If you see the first one he did versus this one, even versus mine. Mine is like, it was my first too. But it's like... Uh, I don't know. It's like riding a tricycle versus a Corvette. This this thing is really nice. Uh, he did a really good job with it. He took his time, put a nice little case on it and stuff. So, I, John, I really appreciate that. This will go in the uh, the new uh, War Machine. I have till Tuesday to get it ready. I have another event going on with uh, the Heroes Alliance, so we'll see how that goes, if I have it together or not. I'm praying I do. Um, so, anyway, tonight, slush cast this. Paint those. Finish painting, cast those, slush cast those. That's, I just, I don't know, I, that's going to take the longest, I think. And then paint the, so it's very easy, very easy work I got to do. Um, but John, I really, I really.